stood for white supremacy, who caused black people to be disenfranchised and to be killed but in the first government, in the first coup d'etat in this country, 1898, Wilmington was taken over and government replaced <laughs> by these people that we now celebrate by erecting the emblem to a man who stood for hate. Now, maybe you didn't know, but now you do. <laughs> and now that you know, what you going to do? Well, my name is Casanova Hooks, and what we're talking about is my grievance uh, to the, the placard to see the U.S. Daniels being put uh, on the courthouse grounds, the government square, a uh, seat of power to a man who history has proven to be infamous, and to place of history that makes him uh, famous is a, a revisionist view of history. It's to rewrite history. It's to make a, a foul fiend and villain into a hero. And this man was anything but a hero. Um, and for him to be memorialized on, on the courthouse grounds where Black people have to go and expect justice from someone so foul is, is an affront to justice. Uh, it's not the kind of thing that I fought for, my father fought for, my grandson fights for it to this day. But it's a part of a, of a resurgence of a, of a white supremacist wind that seems to be blowing through this country. This argument is far different than the argument that is being waged about Confederate monuments. But the thing that they, that they both share is that they both are revisionist views of history. Uh, they make a lie to stand as truth. Uh, to, first of all, to memorialize a man who is considered to be the father of white supremacy on government grounds seems to be criminal. It's beyond ethics uh, when you consider the fact that uh, black people can uh, comprise such a large part of the population and to be not even considered in a decision of such symbolic importance. To me, is not an omission, but it's a commission. It's a commission of, uh, of injustice. And if it is allowed to remain, it's a smack in the eye to us. I don't see how, first of all, it was erected in the start with, and then to be erected just a, a year, or maybe a couple of years ago, and to be erected by uh, the Wilson, the supposedly Wilson Historical Society, who, if you notice the plaques, uh, all the plaques that I, I've seen, well, many of the plaques, especially the ones that relate to black history, are rev revisionist views of history because they uh, minimizes the view of the black accomplishment and demoralizes wickedness by painting the Confederacy as a glorious part of our history when it was it was criminal. It was an act of uh, government attempted overthrow. You know, the when you can to all the people who, who say that the Confederates are heroes, you may I remind them that. And Lee, when he died, he, he, he didn't even have citizenship. He was a traitor. Although he was uh, given pardon, like most of, like all of the Confederate soldiers were, on a blanket pardon, he, was never, he never regained his citizenship. These people were criminals. And for us to use now, uh, I'm not against uh, the monuments. People can have their monuments. But if there are uh, monuments on public grounds, then they should tell at least the truth of the history. They can't be telling no one side cherry picked version of history, a whitewash rendition that glorifies uh, treason, and they try to maintain a system of slavery. Uh, and so those are my feelings, and those, that's my area of grievance. Uh, I have no no qualm against anyone's relatives. You know, 
know, but I have relatives who uh, were criminal uh, when they died, and I'm not asking for no monument to be maintained on public property for them, so why would anyone else expect that? Those are my feelings personally. 